Panina Sharvit Baruch worked with uh, for the IDF International Legal Department for 20 years, where she advised commanders on armed conflict in Palestinian negotiations. She currently serves as a senior fellow for the Institute for National Security Studies. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, uh, and good morning to you. So there's been a growing backlash, as our correspondent mm -hmm. was just talking about, Sarah, um, about the civilian casualties after yesterday's airstrike uh, that resulted in the bombing of a refugee camp in Gaza. Let's take a listen to National Security Advisor John Kirby, uh, what he had to say about it yesterday. We're not accepting uh, of any single civilian death uh, uh, in Gaza. They're all tragedies. And, but it is it's not the goal of Israeli forces to go out and deliberately take innocent civilian life. And so what is your response um, to people who say that Israel is not doing enough, A, to avoid the loss of innocent lives, and those who say that um, Israel, the tactics aren't abiding by laws of war? The UN has already said uh, that cutting off access to food, water, um, medicine, fuel, things like that, that already is a violation of international law. Yes, well, um, when we see these pictures, of course, the heart, we are heartbroken. We are still also heartbroken from seeing the pictures of uh, all those um, families uh, brutally murdered um, and tortured uh, three weeks ago uh, when uh, thousands of uh, Hamas and other terrorists stormed into Israel and entered villages and, and, and tied up children and uh, tortured them in front of the parents and killed and burned people alive and, and went to a music festival and stormed there and killed them. And, and I think it's it's not just about the numbers and comparison. I think what we need to understand is that Israel, this is a war for our existence. And I know that it sounds difficult to comprehend. We are perceived as this very strong country and the Palestinians are the weak other side. But but in in essence, the Hamas first of all proved that it is much stronger than, it's, than we thought. Um, it has one clear aim, which is to destroy the state of Israel. It doesn't really care about the civilians in the Gaza Strip. It is actually using them, I'll, I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but it's not only the Hamas. Um, everyone, all our other enemies, there's this axis of Iran, and Hezbollah, and the other proxies of Iran. We've had missiles fired at us from Yemen. They're all waiting to see what will happen and whether Israel will be able to confront the Hamas. If it doesn't, if it perceived as unable, to, 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 to eliminate the threat that Hamas poses uh, against us, they will come too. And then we will, be, we will be attacked from all fronts. This is not some theoretical f fear. This is an actual fear for our existence. That's why the US support is so important for us. Now, when we understand that, now we have to go and see why, why, is, Israel, why is Israel attacking civilian buildings? Why is it carrying out attacks that, that kill civilians? So now we have to understand what what are the options and how what how can Israel dismantle if we accept that this is the threat that we are facing, and the U.S. administration understands this. So now, how do we dismantle the military capabilities of Hamas? All the military capabilities of the Hamas are within civilian buildings and underneath civilian buildings. There's a, there's a web of tunnels and they booby trap houses. Now we've been using the Air Force in order to get to these to this military infrastructure. Now we are also using ground forces. By the way, yesterday in this fighting against this Hamas stronghold, we had 13 soldiers killed, our soldiers killed and many more injured. This was a fierce combat. This was not us just attacking peaceful Palestinians. We have no point, there's no, it's not in our interest, it's not legally moral, it's not legally in our interest, not morally, but also not in our strategic interest to have civilian casualties these are used by the hamas what it does it can, can i just can i can i just hop in civilians. i just want to hop in for a quick yeah. second though because you made you made a point about this yeah. is a fight for israel's existence mm -hmm. and again yes. taking the long view of this the fight for your existence will continue no matter how this ends up and even if you decapitate yeah. hamas someone else takes the place this tension goes yeah. nowhere in a way that tanks and guns and bloodshed will never solve. That's the complicated history of all of this. That's so yeah. war is easy. Peace is hard. How do you get to that yeah. place? How do we get to that place from your view? That I, I'm in the peace camp. I was supposed to be flying yesterday to Europe to meet Palestinian counterparts to see how we, we promote the two-state solution, which I believe in. Uh, but we have to understand Hamas is not part of the solution. 
Hamas is opposing any kind of peaceful resolution with Israel. Uh, we are not the only enemies of the Hamas. But Palestinian moderate people who agree, who want to reach a peaceful resolution of conflict, are also the enemies of the Hamas. Um, so the, the problem is that you can't eliminate the threat of the Hamas by negotiations. The, the, the only way we can eliminate the threat of the Hamas in a peaceful way is by surrendering, by saying, okay, come and conquer Israel, and then we will all pack our things and go where? <laughs> and the world doesn't seem very welcoming to Jews these days. Um, so, so we have to understand that by fighting the Hamas, this is only the only chance forward to have the moderate Palestinians, those that, those that accept our right to exist, have them in power, maybe so we can really move forward to a peaceful resolution. And to eliminate the military capabilities of Hamas, there's no other way but to operate in the civilian areas that have that are full of civilians. And by the way, when you look at the numbers, um, you're talking about civilian casualties, but many of them are Hamas operatives, including children, because 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds are fighting there too. So also be cautious with the numbers or the hospital that you mentioned uh, that was attacked. It was a, a, a jihad, an Islamic jihad rocket that fell on that hospital. So be careful also with, with uh, making a, a, a immediate uh, um, conclusions what's happening. But again, if anybody could offer us a way where we can eliminate the military infrastructure of the Hamas, take off this threat from the Hamas, take off the threat from the Hezbollah, from Iran against Israel without harming civilians, please send it to me. We'll give it to the government. That's, that's our interest. Civilian casualties on the Gaza side, they're not our enemies. We don't want that to happen. We know that it's against our interest. It puts pressure on us to stop our fighting. It's a win-win for, for the Hamas because either Israel won't act and then they will continue with their military activity firing rockets threatening our civilians and this front threatening us from all sides or right. when we do act and there are civilian casualties then we are blamed as war criminals lose our legitimacy what are we supposed to do really what would you do what would the u.s do what would other countries do if they were facing such an enemy operating in this way what are our options? I don't want any civilian casualty in Gaza. I don't want any baby to, to lose his life or to lose his parents. Not on our side and not on their side. But they started it three weeks ago. They just had an unprovoked attack. And, and we are defending ourselves. We are really trying to defend ourselves. It's a very difficult, these are difficult circumstances. There's no good way out. Peace, yes, it's, it's the way out, but it's, it's just a word when we're talking right. about the Hamas. They're not interested in peace. Mm -hmm. All right, former IDF legal advisor, Colonel Panina Shervit Baruch, thank you so much. Um, we'll be right back.